Hey guys, what's up? This is Knives. Listen, you're getting ready to watch some Undertale. Unfortunately, I had to scrap the first part of this playthrough. I don't know what happened. I hit a button at some point that made the entire video just go white screen, so I had to scrap the whole thing. But, I highly recommend you go back and watch my first three videos. It's the entire first part of the game. Apparently, it was hard mode. It was a secret I wasn't entirely sure about. But... I did it anyway, thinking, I, thinking I'd have to go through the whole game. It was... Just go through and watch those if you don't know what's going on as of this point. But, without further ado, continuing Undertale, part two. Hi everybody, it's Knives187. Welcome back to Undertale. Alright, I got a room here with three switches in it. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. It, uh, damn it. My gosp crawled up close. Okay. I can already spare him. Talk. I don't care. Ah, ah, shit, shit, shit. Okay. Mold small burbles quietly. Spare. Nothing like alone time. Oh god, it still does for. Ouch. My gosp doesn't have a care in the world. Fair. You fucking damaged me, dude. That wasn't cool. I just wanted to say hi. Okay, so, as you can see. Okay. Damn it. A pair of Vegetoids. Came out of the ground. Okay. Dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Cool. Eat your greens, part of a complete breakfast! Woo! Vegetoid cackles softly. Spare that one. Fresh morning taste! What the hell? Oh my god! There's vegetables all over the place! Vegetables are not part of my breakfast, people. Unless it's potatoes. Which then again aren't that healthy for you, it seems. All right, you're done. Potatoes are the only vegetable I'll eat at breakfast food, ever. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Okay, so what it's saying is, you, you got you got to think of how the how it looked in the last room. I find the switch. Ah, damn it. Ah, uh, you I can spare already. Being me is the best. They just. What was that? What is that move called? I don't. I don't know what that move's called. I don't. I don't do with the dancing and the stuff. Okay, so the blue switch I think is right here, as you can see. And I know this part of the game sounds like it's probably a, a walkthrough. It kind of is in the sense that I didn't mean to play it before I played it. You know. Damn, guys! Luke's and company decided to pick on you. Hey, hey! Wait, no, um... Don't pick on him. Locally farmed, very locally. Oh, Jesus Christ! Don't move, don't move. Okay. You're done. Farm locally. Heed the swarm! Oh my god. Go, whoa, whoa, whoa! Dinner. I'll take some of those green veggies. Eat your greens. I, I don't even see what. He, hello. Get away from me. Okay. Good. Oh. But yeah, I didn't intend to play through it the way I did before. So I'm, I know what's going on in this whole part of the game right now. I forgot what that said. If you can read this, press the red switch. Yay! I got the red switch right here. Yes. I think the next room is green. Uh, don't pick on him. Like a T-Rex. You hold completely still, they won't see you. Okay. 
If you can read this, press the green switch. Um, okay, so that's the blue switch. Oh, this is the only thing I don't like about games like this. I'm trying to make progress and this shit keeps happening. Even though I'm not having to kill them. I don't care. Wow, you're a snotty little jerk. Give me some food. <laughs> okay. Give me that corn. I love corn. He and me is the best. Cool. Okay, I think this is the green switch here. It is a switch. Sweet. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. They were all too we're all too intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit. Hmm. Okay. That is cool right there. It actually reminds me kind of there's a whole underground kingdom and everything. It reminds me of uh uh, how do you say it? Mezzobaranzan, I believe is how you say it. Anybody who's read uh, R.A. Salvatore or Icewind Dale, they know what I'm talking about. It's, uh, oh dear, look, at, that took longer than I thought it would. But that reminds me of uh, the uh, Dark Elf Kingdom in, in uh, R.L. Salvatore novels. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I can't hide it any longer. Come, small one. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. That's kind of sad. Whew, seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Cool. Wish I could read that sign. Oh, well. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Huh. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Oh, it makes sense now. Here, I have another surprise for you. Oh. This is it. Uh. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Aww. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Do, 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 do. I love the music too. Look at these cool toys! They don't interest you at all. If they're so cool, why don't they interest me? I don't get that. It's a bad. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in despair. Oh, excuse me, God. In a disparity of sizes. Ah, cool. That's cool. Okay. What? What is this? Oh, okay. You have seen this type of plant before, but you do not know its name. Um. This looks like Toriel's room. This is Toriel's diary. Ha, lucky guess. Sure. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. <laughs> oh, God, it's horrible. Now, like... Uh, it's just... Bad jokes. I love bad jokes, though. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, well, more commonly as water sausages. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's Toriel's sock drawer. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundary of plants. 
My only question about that is it pronounced Sundare or Sundari like in Yandari. It's you. It's you. I'm not even looking at the mirror and it's it's you. It's you. It's you. That's weird. I'm not even looking at the mirror and it's still that's weird. I wonder. Okay, I think it's just part of the game itself. Look, it's a water sausage. Oh! It's a water sausage. Cool. The great part of games like this is just exploring, finding all the random crap you can interact with. Nothing there. Books. Random page. Trap behind the barrier, the fearful. Uh, or, trap behind the barrier, and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. I can't read. Yes, I can. Far into the earth, we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand you could put your hand inside. I guess I'm not gonna. Ooh, it's a pie. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat though. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Okay. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Ah, uh, Toriel. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Why can't I get it? I want the brand name chocolate bar. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Yep. That's it. The pie is not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Okay, I'll take a nap. That's what it takes for pie. The, the universal, the universal conundrum: cake or pie, or cake or cookies. I don't care. Why? Why does that look like a hat the first time I see it? It looks like a hat for some reason. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Yay! I got pie. These books are worn, they must have been read many times. <laughs> Let's go down here. What? I think you should play upstairs instead. Why? I don't want to play upstairs. Yeah. It is dangerous to play here. I'm gonna keep going. It is drafty here. You will catch cold. Ugh. I know there's something I'm supposed to be doing right now. I'm just trying to move it along. It is dusty here. You will catch a cough. Damn it. <laughs> there is nothing to see here. Sure. If there's nothing to see here, why do you keep taking me away? Prove it to me. Do you want to read a book? Not right now. I do not like the game you are playing. Oh, she's getting mad now. <laughs> I'm not... Uh, until you start saying, Why not go for a walk in the yard? Because I know there's something down here that I'm interested in. Really now. She She's getting mad. <laughs> Um, she has nothing to say now. Okay, god damn it. Okay, I have to go do something first. All right. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know I'm glad I have. I am. I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. God damn. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Not really. 
you get it yet? Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? Yeah. It's... Yeah. What? This... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? I am determined. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. Yeah, yeah, come on, tell me what I want to know. I have to do something. Stay here. I know. You sound like a jerk. I sound like a jerk right now, but, you know... to know how to return home, do you not? Yes. Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. The one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. That'd be a good child and go upstairs. No. No. I want to know what's going on. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. Be naive, child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. No! I'm not leaving. This part. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Come on, Toriel. Talk to me. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you were strong enough to survive. She looks very intimidating now. Come on. Attack 80, defense 90, knows best for you. Whoa, that was cool. Talk? Nothing to say? No? Ah! Ow! Ow! Stop it! Alright. Not doing it. <laughs> yeah, you prepare your magic attack. I'm just... You do what you gotta do. You do what you gotta do. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Yeah. Yep, yep. What are you doing? There are so many things I want to try, but I want to go through... I want to do one thing first. There's a magical attack. Attack or run away! Ah. That music is really loud. Torio still looks through me. Yep. What are you proving this way? That I can stand up for myself. You're, you're doing this on purpose. I know you are. Fight me or leave. No. This is what the friar was talking about. Toriel looks through you. Stop it. I got nothing. You got nothing. Stop looking at me that way. Tori prepares a magical attack. Spare. Go away. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of heartbreaking. There's a magical attack. You're doing it. I'm not doing anything. 
Oh. Take a deep breath. I know you want to go home, but... Please, go upstairs now. What are you trying to prove? That's my question. I promise I will take good care of you here. You do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? You're keeping me here against my will, for one thing. I didn't want to fall down that hole. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aww. She, she does feel that she knows best for you. Scary music's back. Is she still here? I wonder. She's probably not here. Uh... So, we go through here. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a one way ticket. Oh, there it is. Jesus. You again! <coughs> clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. <laughs> you spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die! Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future! Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> what the hell? You freaky bastard. Regicide? What is that one? Okay. Yay! I beat the game! No, I didn't. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this video here. That was pretty much the entire introduction right there. So... As soon as it comes back. Alright. I'm going to leave this video here. I'm going to keep playing this a little bit more for you guys. Hit the like button down below for me. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's anything that I'm missing so far. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.